Hi, I'm Alexim and I will be your instructor. So to, today we will do the tutorial for the OXO game. It will be a little bit challenging because we are manipulating Angular and also the CSS. So we can start. The goal it will be to reproduce this nice game. So we have a two letter and also when the case is empty. We will see on here uh, what we have. We have two player. We will have a grid on 3x3 three three. and also when it's empty I will represent with minus 1. When there is a, a O it will be a, a 0 and there is an X it will be 1. So this is the convention that I will do. I will create an enum also to have more easy to manipulate what we see. Ok, we can start. First, I will be online, so to create the application, and I will generate a new component here. So we go with the generator here, and I will create the OXO grid just here. Ok, we can do exactly the same on your local machine if you use ng, g and c for create a new component and the name of component. Don't forget to use a dry run after with the a double uh, dash if you don't want to uh, create that directly. Ok, we need also an enum, so we will create an enum here. I will create on the OXO grid directly here. So we can generate the enum and it will be a letter. We have different states like I have mentioned. The first date will be uh, nothing. We have also another state with x to be 0. And we have also the other state for 1. So we have the three states that we can see in a cell. This is good. Also on the OXO grid, you are manipulating some cells, so we will create just um, a symbol that we can use on the OXO grid. So how I do that? So I create a new component here. So we can create this component. I will name that um, symbol here. OK. We will create an input also here, because we need to um, have a letter coming from here. The type of this letter is um, the enum that we have uh, created and we can uh, initialize that with uh, nothing because it was the first uh, state. So you, you need to do some import. So we are import here, we are import also the enum. So don't forget it's a semicolon when you want to import. OK, this is really good. Um, after what I do, usually I'm testing if uh, the component is there. Uh, so we can do that just below. So <coughs> we go just below that component and we will see the OXO grid just below to see if it will be a display or not. So we can see here that we need the close bracket here, OK. So we need to import that because <coughs> it's not accessible as you can see. So we need the OXO grid and we can also import the symbol that we have created here. OK. It will be good. So we can save. We can refresh. OK, and we can see that it's uh, working. So what we can do here, we will uh, display also the cell. So we go to the OXO grid and just to test if it works, I will go just here and I will um, put the symbol that we have uh, put here so we can um, manage it here. So this is good. And after we can uh, also put um, the letter that we have here. Just to see if it's work, I will just uh, pass a letter 
here and we can see if we go to the symbol here to display that so we go here uh, we we'll just uh, display the letter here just for the testing okay it works this is the basic thing that you can do just uh, uh, before to start because it's always good to have that so the first thing that we need to do it's um, to have a div with the symbol so it's exactly what I will do um, here so I will create the div with a class with a symbol and after we will create just the CSS uh, for the symbol so actually it will be um, what I've had he here so we can do something with the font size so we will start that so I take uh, some property from text shadow from the internet so I have a find for the shadow and you can see also I have put uh, the font size and also the weight so this is uh, what we can do and the uppercase also because it will be O or X in your example so we don't have minus one of course we will have something more like here so this is uh, uh, really important to know so um, yeah we must uh, put here of course a letter because um, this is the symbol that we have um, defined and um, after we can see that on the grid um, okay this is uh, good so we have uh, three states here it will be uh, 0 1 or um, or um, minus one so this is the three state that we will see after when we have the symbol we will display the correct letter just here by the CSS so we will go for that so we will do some uh, switch from uh, here from the view here so what we do we just do an ng class here so with the ng class you, you can be a uh, switch between different uh, class uh, with um, the property of uh, the variable so I will create a class here for um, the first for we can see for the symbol so we can see um, this one and the letter that we give here so we can do exactly the same for the X also so I will do exactly the same here for the X so we go here and we can uh, put the X uh, for the value here so we will do some switch between uh, some classes here okay I will just rename some variable because uh, maybe we need the enume after so I will just put symbol here instead of letter and also I use a um, symbol here of course because uh, we have uh, changed it here okay and after we can display the symbol um, just uh, here okay we have a common issue that you can see so we cannot manipulate the enum directly on the html so what i will do i will uh, make that accessible in the typescript um, to uh, be available in the html how i do that i just declare a variable and the type of the enum that you need so here it will be a letter the enum that we need and it will be this uh, kind um, of uh, enum okay so as you can see uh, it works we will see directly uh, the styling that we have defined this is um, really good the next step that we can do is uh, create the grid so I will display the console just here and we can start to have a grid 
So what I will do, I just uh, uh, create a variable here and we can see that it will be uh, an array with um, by default we you have a minus one on uh, every row so we will create that uh, just here and also we are duplicate this thing okay uh, what I will do I will create a reset uh, function just to reset the quiz so what it will do, it will do exactly the same, but it will um, reset what we have here. So this is, can be really as uh, useful when we start. So um, when we start the component, we can reset the grid also. So this is good. And uh, we can display just to see in the console log if we have the, the grid correctly. Okay, this is good. As you can see, we can see correctly the grid here. Next, we will create the grid. So I go here, I remove that, I create the class for the, the OXO container, just here. And we will create just the grid here. Okay, we will use the display flex just to create uh, the grid. Now we can browse um, the grid because we have the arrow. How we do that? We create an ng4 just here and we will um, just browse the um, each line of um, the array. So I named that uh, row, but you can name like you want. And after we will uh, put, um, you know, just a class on that. So this is really good. We can do exactly the same for the cell just uh, behind. Okay, this is good. After what I will do, I just move the bar that we have here to be in the grid. Okay, for the moment um, we see nothing, so we will um, see uh, how to manage that. Okay, so as you can see, there is no um, effects because we create no senses, so, so we will do, do just now. So how I uh, will do that? I will create the OXO grid. So it will be just uh, the display flex here. And as you see, we are in a column. So this is uh, the first thing that we can uh, do for um, the entire um, the entire grid here. Okay. So after we have the row. So the row, it will be uh, also with the display flex, of course. And we will put the direction for a row. So this is exactly what we need. And uh, just to see better if we are in the good direction, we will just put a color here. Okay, this is good. And also, also we can uh, put the OXO case just to have the CSS for the, um, the case. So what I will do, I will do another color, a little bit lighter, just to see, you know, the cell inside the grid. Uh, after I, I use the flex grow, just to have, it takes um, all the fit of uh, the cell inside. Also the flex string, we can put to one to, uh, to be the minimal. So when you have one, it will be a uh, one by one. So if you have, uh, I have uh, put two, it will take uh, two, um, two uh, elements. So uh, it will be uh, larger if we do that. Okay, so now we can do the, 
uh, border for the, um, to see the cell better so I will just uh, put a color here okay we can see and uh, we can put a margin just on this thing just to see um, and also we can put uh, a min white just to um, put um, the cell will be constrained when you resize the window because it must be not a uh, change you see so this is uh, really good so we don't need um, something uh, that that it change uh, the white so also we will put the white here and um, we can put also a, a height so it will be uh, really good here maybe it's too big so we, we will just um, adjust after Of course we need to center the letter so we will do that here and we can also align um, so we can align vertically okay this is good so just if I container it will be horizontal as you can see so if I go to the start it will start from the horizontal it will be and it will be at the end of the cell but here we need in the middle it's the same for the island item it will be on the vertical position okay i will just decrease all the value because uh, this is uh, really um, uh, big so i will uh, try uh, some value you know uh, a little bit uh, smaller just that we have a grid that it can fit you know on the screen here so it will be perfect um, so we go here and also I will uh, reduce you know uh, the size from uh, the font size that we have so I will go here I will decrease that so we can see uh, this is much uh, better so we will go maybe for um, something not too um, too small okay this is uh, good and after also uh, we need some square because um, it seems uh, not really a uh, square okay I have uh, adjust a little bit the value so I have add the white here for 600 pixel and after I have um, had um, some uh, um, value for uh, the 8 here and the white so we can go for this uh, value it seems um, it seems uh, good so we can um, go for um, this uh, nice uh, uh, value for the OXO game here so the body is ready so now we will uh, just adjust uh, some uh, condition now we create now um, the variable for the player so we will go here I will create also an enum for that so I will go here I create a new uh, enum here so we create that and it will be a player so this is good after we can see uh, like we did in the past so we have a two condition here we have the human so we can pass the human it will be zero and we have the um, the play the um, computer sorry so it will be uh, one for example so you can select only uh, two value here for the enemy so this is really good and after in the sim uh, in the game we can um, declare the player like the the player that we have defined and by default we can see that it's um, it can be um, the human to play okay so we must to import the enum here to it uh, give something that it works okay this is good so the first thing when we start the game it's um, just uh, to tell if it's a uh, human or um, the computer to uh, to play so we have an instruction here to be the start game so what does the start game as you can see it will uh, reset the grid so we need that and we need also uh, a method to select the player so we will do select the player and also it will uh, select the symbol that we need also for this player so the first thing that I will do it's a random number 
okay how I do that I just give you some tips from uh, the internet so you can use uh, this method so we will do exactly the same to uh, have um, a random value so we can use that and the maximal that we want here yeah, it will be um, 2 because it can be 0 or 1 here so what we do we go here we just uh, put the maximal to 2 and after we can uh, let that is the random uh, value okay we can uh, assign that directly to the player because uh, this is a uh, numerical so we can do like this and we just um, display in the console log what we have here okay so this is uh, good and also when we start the game we must select the player okay so we need just a button so we can go uh, here we will just uh, put uh, below the grid so I go here just uh, below uh, the grid I will uh, just uh, put a button just to start the game so how you do that we create an event and we start the game here okay so what we need to do we can say that it's a start and also we can uh, just uh, put a class on that just to be uh, you know more nicer so we can say also a uh, button here we will create uh, that just uh, from scratch here okay this is good um, for the moment I will um, take uh, some value that we can here um we can put something uh red we can say no border also uh, we can say the color will be uh, white and also we can uh, just adjust the text to be a uh, center we can do a font size uh, bigger also it can be nice and um, we have also a padding that it will give a little bit uh, better shape to the button that we need also so this is uh, good and also we can make a small border radius um, for this here so this is um, it's really good so now we don't need um, nothing more nothing less uh, we can do just uh, for the um, tutorial here we can do an um, ash over and we can change the color so you can see that um, it's uh, changing when you pass there the color so what i will do i will take from uh, the google from the palette so we can do that all right so we go here as you can see we will take this value so we can uh, select that for the background and after for the other i will take something uh, lighter here so we can go uh, maybe like this okay and we can adjust that on the ash over that we want to use okay so this is nothing really exceptional but as you can see it works maybe we need also a cursor pointer you know just uh, to have the hand when you are clicking on that so this is good after we can do a little bit um, space also on um, the thing so I will do um, just a spacer here so uh, we will do just a margin uh, of uh, two for example so uh, we will do a margin top um, of uh, 10 pixels for example um, so I will go here and we can adjust that um, there just to apply on the button here okay so um, this is seems uh, uh, good okay we can continue so what I will do uh, it will just uh, click on this button to see what we have so we have the player one can start we start another time it will be always player one and then it will be uh, the player zero so this seems a uh, uh, correctly 
So you remember we have uh, just a put static value here. So we need to see now uh, the real symbol that we want to use. Because um, this is uh, not the goal that we need. We need to put really uh, the symbol that we have uh, from the data. So we must uh, see uh, why it's not uh, uh, working here. Okay, we have um, to iterate better. So we have the grid. After we need to go uh, from the row. So below we change that to the row. So this is uh, will be correct. And we have the information really now from um, the, the grid. So this is uh, perfect. So we go here and we don't need to display, you know, um, the minus one. So we need really to uh, display um, the symbol that we want. So how I do that? We will just manipulate uh, some instruction in CSS. So I will add a span here because um, it can give the control to the text that we have uh, there. And we uh, will do some CSS here. So we will we'll just um, do uh, two things. So it's um, to use the display flex and also to um, to use not uh, display uh, the span. So um, we will just do to replace that in fact. Okay, so we will do exactly the same for the X here. And we will do uh, to replace the content just uh, after. So I will do like this and I will put the content with um, the O if it's okay. And if it's not okay, we will um, do the same for the X here. Okay. So don't forget the common point because uh, this is really important. Okay. Next, uh, we must do uh, to display or not display what uh, we want here. So we will just do an ng if. And we make the condition to um, to uh, display the symbol only if um, if the letter um, is correct. So it must be different of nothing because if it was not the case, we cannot display. Now it's already better because we can see directly. Okay, I will uh, just uh, simulate something just to see if everything is okay. So what I will do, I will uh, try to do some value here, static value, but we will um, just um, remove that. So for example, for the position zero, zero, I will uh, put, um, we can put, I don't know, zero, for example. Okay. And after we can start the game here, yeah, you can see this is zero. This is perfect. We go uh, for another value. Now we can see a one, for example. I restart the game. Okay, we must see uh, why we have uh, always the zero. Okay, the issue was not complex. I, uh, forgot in the um, CSS to change for the X X so uh, we will change that just here so this is good so now we can save and we can um, put uh, some value to see if it's working so I will put zero normally it will be an O here okay if we put um, uh, zero we have the X this is what we want and if we put uh, O, we will have uh, one. Maybe to be more logical, I will uh, just um, inverse, you know, to be, um, it will be more easy uh, to us to see because the zero seems more like, more like an O. Okay, so this is better. So I will retry that. So we can go here. Um, so we have the zero, it will display normally a O, okay. And if we put the one, we have the X, it will be normally here. Oh, this is perfect. Good. 
okay we continue there so we are just um, to put um, a random uh, symbol also so when you have select the player after you select also a random symbol so this is exactly the same that we do uh, here so it will be um, uh, two way so it can be uh, just uh, zero or one also so it will be uh, exactly the same so we do exactly the same so we have select a symbol and it will be also um, a letter here and by default we can put um, it will be um, O for example so we can import this and after it will be uh, random so we can do also when we select the player we can select also uh, the symbol that we want so uh, I will put just here for the player we put the se select symbol for this player so for the other it will be totally the opposite so we don't need to store that also because we know that it's the, the, it's the opposite so we will go exactly what we do here um, so we have no problems because there will be no minus one so it will be directly you know the correct symbol so we can display uh, the player and the symbol that we have uh, uh, here so I will just do the console lock here we can start the application okay we are one one so this is uh, totally random so it can be also uh, something else yeah you see it can be zero one it can be zero zero so we have a multiple uh, option here okay this is good so when we start the game we reset the grid we select the player and we select the symbol for this player and also uh, just after we uh, create a new method just to uh, analyze um, what we must uh, start okay we will create also the current player um, just to know who is uh, playing when we select the, um, the player we select uh, the symbol what we have a uh, choose but we need also um, to select the current player that it will um, play so it will be exactly the same that we do here so what we do we create a player we associate the symbol and after we create uh, the current player so we know who is um, currently uh, playing okay we can start just to see if as if everything is uh, okay here you can put uh, some console lock with uh, the comma to see um, which uh, person is uh, playing and we can do the, the same for the selector symbol here okay we start and we can see okay this is good so we need uh, something um, to tell uh, which cell we have uh, selected so we go to the symbol and when we click on the symbol we must um, tell that we have uh, selected this um, this uh, cell so we can go here we don't need um, the symbol because um, we already know by the player who is playing but uh, we just indicate we have uh, selected uh, this cell so I will create a click event here and we can call just to, to see that we have uh, select um, this uh, cell okay what we need here we can um, pass just um, 
um, the cell that we have uh, selected here okay we will not do the select cell uh, on the symbol we will do that on the grid directly okay what I did I just uh, put the on the click event here the select cell and we pass the row that we have here and the cell here just to have the position I will just display that on here on the information for the console log to see uh, which element we have select so we can test it as you can see we have uh, this element okay so um, we have um, not selected the cell so we must have selected the cell so what I need to do I can create another uh, element on the top here and it will be more easy so we can have directly um, the click uh, there on this um, uh, element why I do that because we are iterate so we don't have yet the information so this is the reason it was not correct okay we can try it and test it okay so I just uh, a little bit add up the code so we can put the click directly on the element of the LJ4 we will pass um, the index that we have uh, indicated here and also the index for the row here after we have the value of the cell so I will test it so if you click here we can see we have um, the value minus 1 in um, 0 for the row and 0 for the column 0 for the row 1 for the column and minus 1 this is perfect because this is exactly what we need when we click we want to have the position in the grid and we want to change it uh, that just after okay we will do that uh, dynamically so I go to the grid and when you click on this um, cell you take the grid and you take um, the row and the colon of course and we will just uh, change you know the value so how we do that we must to see if the player is a human here so if this uh, player okay is equal to um, a player um, we, we mean a human what we do we can affect the symbol directly uh, here so it means the select symbol that we have okay so we need um, to see uh, the row and the colon so we can do like uh, this okay we can test it just to see if it was not the case if it's not a uh, human selected we need um, to take the other symbol so it means um, if the current symbol is um, you know is not uh, uh, the O we take the totally opposite of this uh, symbol so we must uh, check what is this so if it's um, an O I don't know so we can see here what we do we just um, affect uh, the other so it means it will be a letter X so what does it mean if it's a computer so we take the opposite of the letter here otherwise it will be letter O okay we can test it and uh, we need some console log so I have already done here so we start the game okay so we see the player uh, is uh, zero okay and we see also uh, we have the select symbol one so uh, zero mean that it's a uh, uh, human and we have select the symbol one so 
it means that it will be a, an X okay so if I play the current player we click here we have an X here okay we click here we have an X here okay this is good we need to see also the case when uh, it's not uh, a human it's the computer to see if it's correct so I start again we see now it's the computer to play and we have select the symbol a uh, zero what does it mean it's the symbol is already reserved so we mean to have the symbol uh, X here for the uh, player uh, uh, one so for me so if I play normally I must have an X here this is correct okay we can play again we can see uh, it's me so, and the selected symbol 0 so it will be an O if I click here so this is correct also and we can check here if um, the player is uh, yeah it's the one this is exactly what we need and the selected symbol is one what does it mean that I will have an, an O normally because uh, one is X okay so if I click I have O so this is, seems uh, correctly working okay we will create just a CSS here um, for the cell just to give um, the cursor pointer here that it will be uh, clickable so normally we have a uh, two state if it's the computer or not so we must uh, do attention to that so how I do that I create the class so it will be uh, active uh, user and we will uh, just define that if um, it's the user to play so how we know that we have already know because uh, we have a create a variable here so we can see uh, which current player we must uh, uh, play must play sorry so we go here we go for this thing but we must have a case um, so we, we need to know if the current player can play so what we do we will do exactly what we do here I must uh, access to an enum so I go here I put a uh, player um, we will say a uh, player enum just to see and we will just uh, put uh, the player that we want to compare here okay so we need to import also the the library it's already done so this is good and now what we can do we can uh, check if the current player is equal to in to this in him so we need to see if it's a human if it's a human it's uh, active so what I propose with the OXO case when you are there we will see that it's not possible so we will disable all the pointers even so we will do that to none so it means that the user can not do nothing in fact by default so now we will change here and we will put um, just for the OXO active user that the user can uh, access to um, the cell so what we do we reactivate here and also we can put the cursor pointer so it can be selectable okay we can do something else here for the cursor we can um, see maybe that it's uh, not allowed so we cannot do because uh, it's not it's time to play okay we can do like this we can check what we have uh, actually so by default um, normally um, the current player is um, uh, uh, sorry is a human so this is possible but now uh, we will change just to see uh, what happens if we do that so you see nothing uh, is possible okay we must see if the CSS is correctly um, done so um, how I can do that I will check here if it's okay or not 
so we can see in the DOM if everything is okay so I go here as you can see it's the OXO row so this is okay but we need to take an OXO case okay this is good so um, what I do I check if I have another um, a class on this for the moment there is no other class so this is seems, seems correct and now um, I will uh, change to the player to see uh, what we have so we change to the human okay so we must see here if it's okay I go here and you see it's the active user so this is uh, perfect okay good The only things that I see, it's uh, the cursor pointer doesn't appear, so we must uh, see uh, why it doesn't appear. Okay, it doesn't appear because uh, we have put pointer events to none, so we can remove that. Okay, this is uh, sounds good. We can go further in the game. Okay, we start the uh, analyze, so this is the, really the main uh, goal here. So what we do, uh, we must uh, see if the current player is, um, you know, the computer of its uh, maybe the um, the human. So what we do, I just um, select here. I uh, will see if the player is a human. So if it's the player player is a human, he must uh, just um, to play. And when you click there, after after when it's select and it's finish, uh, we will just uh, flip to uh, to go to the other player. How we will do that? We will um, just uh, play the condition here. So we know that when it's a select cell and it clicks, it's only human can do that. So we will change the current player to the computer. So this is uh, what we need. So we need uh, to change the current player to um, um, to the computer, and when it does that, it means that it gives uh, the helm to the computer to play. So we will uh, do an instruction here that the computer can play. So we will not uh, do something with observable and subscribe and this kind of stuff because this tutorial must be really simple so uh, we just uh, do one by one so one person play the other person play um, so this is good and there is no confusion because when after the computer has finished to play it gives the hand to uh, to the other player to play because it, it's always you know uh, one by one so um, the other player to play after the the computer will be the human here okay so uh, what we um, must do here um, so if it's the human it can select there is no problem but if it's the computer uh, we must be thinking uh, uh, multiple things um, to see which um, cell the user can select uh, the computer can select so to do that I will just um, do some console log here and we can see computer plane and we can display the grid so it will be uh, okay okay we can um, see if it's uh, correct what we do just um, to tell which person must play here below uh, we will just uh, put um, uh, a command to see uh, which person is uh, playing so um, we can put um, a text here just like we did here for the current player we can do the, the same here so um, we can just put the text here uh, human you can play and in other words computer is playing okay okay we can 
do a little bit uh, nicer here and we can see um, game indicator of info maybe. okay this is good we go for the CSS here I go for something really basic here yeah. so we go for the font size 12 maybe and uh, color uh, maybe yeah we can say like this and um, maybe we just put the attention to that so we can put a bigger uh, weight and the font also okay this is good we must uh, check if the sequence is correct so human you can play is um, give there but normally it must appear when you start the game so um, this information can appear only if the, the, the game start so we can uh, put a variable is start game here and we can see uh, if it started by default it's not so we can put that to false and when we start the game we can uh, put here to um, to true okay we need maybe another button to see that it's a stop game also Okay, we go here, we change, and uh, we can put um, just after the start game. We will do the, exactly the same to change the condition here. Okay. This is um, nothing more than just a variable, you know, to uh, change. I will um, just a small adjustment here. So um, maybe um, we can uh, put, you know, uh, more on the right, uh, the button. So we will do that here. So we will go for a matching. Um, matching uh, left there and I'll cre create that for the magic left here okay what we need also to do uh, so when we start we see uh, which one is a um, uh, person can start if we do that again we will have maybe someone else so now it's the computer to play and I cannot uh, do anything if it's me to start you see I have uh, the control on that so this is good okay I just uh, changed the color a little bit so I put um, a button primary and button danger what I did I just uh, remove all the common things and um, to extract that to a primary of a danger it's like the same way that you use a bootstrap and also when you pass you can uh, see the color is there um, also this is uh, really good because um, we can have an indication is it positive or negative the action that we do on the button also here okay we start the game and we can see the computer is playing but uh, nothing happens here so we didn't call the method here so we must uh, see um, to call the method to say that the computer must uh, play um, okay so this is the human to play we don't need this scenario and this is the computer to play okay this is um, good but we don't see the grid here so um, we need also to see um, um, the grid uh, just here so when we start to play 
we see which indicator is uh, giving um, so we need to see uh, when the player is uh, the computer to start so this is the computer as you can see we click but we didn't click on any cells so uh, yeah so this is um, when we start we didn't activate so this is the scenario when we click on the cell so uh, I start so it must be human to start here okay this is good I click here I must go to the computer player this is exactly what we need here okay what must do the computer it must analyze uh, what we have here okay and it must uh, select the other um, uh, keys that it can be uh, it can place the symbol here so uh, we will do that okay we must uh, see if the possibility is there to play for the computer so the first thing that he needs to do it's uh, just to browse the grid so I will do a for each for each element and after when we have an element we will see if the element has a letter with nothing if it's uh, the case it will be returned true because uh, it's exactly what we need here um, so the method is there so um, I have tested so if we put um, zero for everything we will have nothing so I will do that in demonstration here so we can do um, like this so I click here so I, as you can see it's uh, true because there is a minus one here so we will change everything to, to true here just for the demonstration and we will see it's false now because uh, everything is uh, is uh, busy okay we will re reset so there is no possibility for the computer to play in this case so I remove some um, code and now we can see clearly um, if the player can uh, the computer can play if he can play we will choose um, a random place that he can um, put the letter here the next thing that we can do if the computer can play we will select randomly a value for the row of the colon here so we can see what happens if we play so after the computer can play uh, the row 2 of the call 2 uh, we must uh, check if this uh, cell also is available okay we are further so now we have um, the random selector that I have created here so what it does it takes a row um, randomly and the colon uh, randomly and also we already know that um, the grid is possible to play because if it was not the possible uh, we will not play because um, there is no more uh, um, case uh, empty so what we do if it's possible to play the computer select any random cell and after um, it will uh, check because if it's a symbol for him it will take this symbol but if it's the human to play and it's why I've put a condition here we uh, check the symbol if it's the O we take the opposite letter and uh, if it was an X we take the O because um, they play uh, you know another letter so now if I play I go here you see the computer is playing okay this is good I play here and the computer is also playing okay this is good so you see this is a uh, random so uh, we have here so now there is no more um, uh, things to do because uh, um, the, the grid is uh, totally fully okay we have uh, two things to check now it will be really quickly it's when you click and it's already uh, down you cannot click anymore on that so we will check for that just before to do that I want to inform you that it's a recursive so it means if the cell um, is a busy it will take another cell so this is the reason there is uh, something uh, here 
to select another time, another cell. Okay, I will explain to you how you can disable if there is already an element on the grid. How we can do that? We just um, go here, we put the letter for the enum, and also here for the condition for the active user. You remember it was the pointer event. Um, so it will um, see if the current player is human and also the letter is um, different, um, uh, must be nothing, it can be selectable. We can see together. So I click here, I cannot click again, as you can see. I can only click um, where it's possible here, but I cannot click um, on cell that it's um, already, uh, you know, uh, busy by a letter. So this is good. Okay, now we have the last step is to check if um, the OXO is there um, and if uh, someone um, is uh, winning, in fact. Okay, we will crack the, the method for the check winner. So this is um, really easy because we have uh, three verticals to analyze, three horizontal and after the two obliques. We will start with the three verticals. How I do that? So we see the first is um, the row and after it's the colon. So it will be always the first um, uh, colon. So what we need to do, we need uh, just to increment um, the colon here. So this is uh, exactly what we need to do here. Okay, I don't know if you see. But we will stay on the first um, uh, column. What it means, we have a O, an X, and an O, and it will return true. We have exactly the same for the, the two others. So what I will do, I will do a loop here on um, the column, just to do that here, here, and here. Okay, it will be the vertical first, after we do for the same for the horizontal. As you can see, I have make a loop for the 0, 1 and 2, and we will do exactly the same for the horizontal. Okay, it's done for the horizontal, we do exactly the same for the two oblique. Okay, we have the two diagonals, it will be 0, 0, it will be 1, 1 here, and we have uh, 2, 2 here. We have the same in the opposite direction. It will be a 2, 0, 1, 1, because it's the middle. And after we have 0, 2. So it seems correct. We have the three position possible. So the vertical and the horizontal is really easy because you would just uh, swap the column of the, um, of the row. OK. Hold on, we are almost at the end of the tutorial. I know it was really like challenging, but it's good because we, we see a lot of things. Um, not only with the CSS, with Angular, but also with the, the Tribe script and also the JavaScript. So this is really interesting. Now we go further for the next uh, topics. So it will be uh, just to trigger this method when it's needed. So as you can uh, guess, it will be um, trigger every time uh, someone is playing. So for example, the computer is playing. As you can see, the last element that is play, it will be uh, in this role. So if it's possible to him to play. So we can see the computer is playing. We can see the random uh, select hole. So if it's uh, this thing, we must uh, check if it's uh, correct for him or not. So um, it means when we click, uh, we must uh, check if it's OK. When the game is starting, it will be impossible um, to have someone who's winning because uh, you, you must uh, put every uh, things on the board. So the best things that we can do is an analyze uh, when someone is uh, playing just to see uh, if it's correct. So maybe the good place is in the analyze. So we can check if there is a winner here. How we know uh, if there is a winner? Because uh, we have uh, the current player um, was uh, playing. So uh, we have defined that here. 
and we have the same when the computer uh, is playing as you can see so uh, the computer is playing and um, after when it's uh, finished it's um, the other uh, person can play so we must do when is uh, just to finish the to place the element uh, and before uh, to pass to someone else it's um, to put that to the human just after okay this is can be a good place also when you play something to see if there is no uh, winner here because it can be the case um, that uh, is maybe winning because uh, he plays the correct things here okay so if we do that we have the check winner and we must uh, stop the game if it was the case so if there is a winner we will put uh, this variable uh, in global because uh, it can be uh, there and the game uh, can be stopped here so I will uh, just put this because it's uh, um, in the object so we can uh, have access to that okay and uh, when it's good what we can do uh, we can check the winner of course and we can stop the game when we stop the game we have already the method here to stop the game okay so if this winner so we can stop the game okay if we stop the game there is no possibility um, to do something else so we stop the game uh, it's just a method sorry so um, it will be uh, finish and after if we uh, stop the game we must uh, display the winner so maybe we can put here some information about that just to see uh, if there is a winner so we can put um, a condition on that to see if we have a winner we already know who is the winner because uh, we have uh, that here so we can go here um, yeah sorry it puts other things here so we can put there um, And we can put uh, which one is um, you know the, the winner so it will be if it's uh, equal to human we know that it will be uh, the human player Okay, we can see here. So we have already uh, the things here. Uh, I must just put here, maybe. Okay. Uh, just a moment. Okay, I was testing there just a little bug, so we can see here. Um, we can start. I have the Higgs x sorry so we go here and go here so you see uh, the position uh, will be there so um so normally um uh, it's the computer is winning but uh, i was uh, playing so it takes in in reference what i'm uh, doing so we must uh, see um in the logical here when someone is uh, playing so for example for my uh, part I will play and I must analyze the situation when I click so if I click there I have the select cell so I go here for the select cell as you can see before the computer plane we must see uh, you know 
if we have win because uh, maybe we have win here so this is uh, really important to do it's uh, the check of the winner because if it's the place we don't need uh, to change because uh, yeah uh, this is good, but if there is a new winner, that means the, the game must stop. So this is really important. So uh, we need to to return um, here a variable. So uh, we need to return if there is a winner. This is really important. And uh, before to start the game, of course. So if it's the case, we, we must return um, this winner. So when we are checking, um, it was here. So this is uh, not anymore uh, needed, so we can uh, delete it. See, if it's uh, true, it means there is a winner. So uh, we don't need um, to go further. So the, the computer doesn't need uh, to play. So it means if there is no winner, the computer can play. Okay, and we change to the other. It's the same for the computer. It is playing. We must uh, see if uh, there is a winner. You see here. So what we do, we are here. We do exactly the same condition. If there is no uh, winner, what we do, we take the other current player and he can play. Um, so it means um, we have the human to play just after, so there is no things. And, um, and that's it. So it means um, if there is no winner. But yeah, in any case, um, we must. Uh, um have the correct uh, player who, who is winning here because it's no sense if it was the case okay it will seems good so we can test the game now okay i start so we start the game so the computer is playing the first thing that we can see if the computer is playing is not playing so we must see uh in the analyze what we do here uh, we must uh, see if the current player is uh, uh, the computer, so it, it must be the computer to play. So um, we need to check if it's the computer. Okay, and if it's the case, it can play. Okay. So I think there is no need to check a winner here. So we just need to see uh, if it's the computer to play here. Okay, we start the game and we can watch. Okay, it's um, the computer was playing. So now it's me had to play. I cannot click here. I cannot click here. It seems uh, correct. And I will uh, have uh, to do so I will try, uh, if I don't block him, he will play here. So I will let him to win. So I go here. No, <laughs> he chose something else. Ah, but he chose a correct one because it was here. Um, but uh, the problem here, it uh, says that the winner is you and it was the computer. So we have an, uh, an issue for uh, which person is winning. We can start again to see. Um, so I stop and I restart. So um, yeah, we didn't um, hide the message also. So we need to reset also the variable when we starting the game because it's really important because um, we can no, uh, have no win winner here. So it must be false if we starting the game here. Okay. So this is the first thing that we can do. Um, okay, I start the game. So um, I can play now. So I will have the O. I will try here. Ah, anyway, it's there. So if it's playing, 
if he's playing here, he can win. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I've got the O, so if I play here, I will win. Okay, this is, seems uh, logical. Okay, so now we can go here. I have the X. So, um, I will choose uh, maybe this one. Okay. I will choose this one, no. I will choose uh, this one. And I will choose uh, maybe this one. Okay. Nobody win because um, you see it's um, the game is full. So this is also a possibility to see if uh, nobody is winning also. Okay, we can uh, restart again. And we can see if has everything okay. Uh, I play. Okay, it seems correct. Okay. I have the uh, X, so we must see uh, when it's the case. So uh, I was here, but it's, it was me, so this is okay. So I start. Okay, we need to see when the computer is the first, because uh, actually it's... Uh, okay, this is uh, me to play. Okay, so I have uh, O. Okay. Uh, he's got the next so normally uh, yeah he must put uh, in the correct uh, things so yeah he will um, never win because uh, it will be uh, okay okay I will try to let him win because uh, it's uh, complicated uh, so I go here okay let's go here um, I go here okay Let's go here. Okay. I have a win here. Okay. This is um, much uh, easy when it's got uh, something else. But yeah, this is better. So we go here. No, we can try this one. Okay, this is good. So we hope that he will play there or there. So um, I will go here. So normally he wins, but you see the name is incorrect because normally it will be uh, the computer to win. So we will check that. Okay, it's fine. It in the computer play we have these uh, things. It's not needed because it must be changed only if it was the case. Okay, so we can start again. We can see it's me. So I go here and I will put here and I have win. This is, seems logical. So I go here. Okay. So it can play here. So I will try to do some mistakes. Okay. Uh, and we can go here. Um, so you see the message is correct because it's winning here. Okay, the message is a little bit ambiguous because uh, congrats, the winner is the computer. So uh, we need just to change it, uh, this message. And we are almost at the end. So I will uh, just uh, change here. Um, we will do uh, the comparison, what we do uh, before. So what I do, I go here, I take the brackets, and we can see uh, the message in opposite. So. Um, um, congrats, you are the winner. And in otherwise, sorry, the computer winning. Okay, so this is seems correct. So we can put that and we can put the code. So this is seems uh, good. I just uh, remove um, all the stuff here and normally it's better. So okay, we can start and to see if everything is okay. So I start here, um, maybe I went to here, I don't know, we can start. Okay, we have a problem in the condition, so we can see here. 
So uh, the current player uh, is a uh, human. This is, seems uh, correct. But we have a missing um, some property here. So we have the current player is human. We can put this thing. We need just a bracket here. So OK. Um, just a moment. OK. So if yeah, if it's the case, we can see that directly. OK. Oh, sorry, it's uh, not the correct one. So I was in the top. So um, so this is uh, was correct. So we have the double bracket here. Uh, so we can see here the message is there. OK, we can test it. Normally, it will be better. So I can play. And I will win. OK, this is good. So we can start again. Um, I'll let him to win if he wants to win. OK, so he wins. OK, this is, seems really good. So the topics was really um, uh, long, but it was really interesting. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial because we have seen a lot of things. Um, and it will cover um, not only Angular but also the CSS, also about what we do with the TypeScript, with the JavaScript. You have uh, seen also some uh, parameter really um, interesting for the forage and the find. This is really uh, good. And also the enum, how you can use that also in the HTML. I recommend that you use the enum because it's more readable for the other developers. And also to do small uh, method, always uh, keep that simple. It's always the best. So I hope you will enjoy this uh, tutorial. And um, I will let the code uh, on the stack blitz. I wish you a good day and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.